the time for someone to safely escape a house fire has dropped dramatically from what used to be 11 to 12 minutes to now about three minutes. Modern day buildings are full of construction material that can be quite dangerous if a fire erupts in your home. Decades ago, Vancouver Fire and Rescue says you had a lot more time to safely escape a burning building. But experts say a lot has changed over time and it's something that you need to be aware of. Whether they're treated to be fire retardant or not, at some point when they catch fire, they're extremely flammable. They burn much hotter, much faster, and they give off a significant amount of uh, toxic products of combustion. The big shift came in the late 80s and early 90s. You saw uh, construction materials move again from full dimensional lumber, eight, uh, two by tens, two by eights, to uh, silent floors, to manufactured beams, to engineered beams. And there's nothing wrong with them in terms of construction. They're, they're very strong and it's a great use of wood products but what they do is incorporate plastics and resins and uh, that's what it, it causes the increased flammability. That's why Vancouver Fire and Rescue say it's so important to have an escape plan in place like this one. This is something you and your family can fill out and practice at least once a year. Plan to have two ways out of every room. Make sure your family knows your escape plan and practice it. Studies have shown that uh, families are much more successful in, success in getting out of a house fire or other emergency when they've practiced the escape plan under realistic conditions. No, I don't have a planned one in place to actually escape from a building or a muster point or anything like that. No, I do not. I live in a house. Um, no, not at all. Do you think that's something to take into consideration? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I could I could arrange something like that. That sounds smart. Yeah. We have a fire escape uh, stairwell, so yes, I hope so. Have you ever sat down and mapped out a plan to get out, though? Uh, no, I mean our unit's right next to it, so I just take a left out the door and then another left and hopefully I'll live. It's been a troubling year for fire deaths in the city of Vancouver. We've had seven deaths this year and that's just shy of our record, which is certainly not something we're uh, seeking to be. We're aiming for a zero fire death year next year and uh, that's just going to be linked to people getting working smoke alarms. The majority of fire fatalities occur between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m., which is obviously when people are sleeping. Uh, the fire has time to grow and unfortunately if they don't have a working smoke alarm they're overcome by products of combustion in vancouver andrea mcpherson city news